and how are you? My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. At The Flower Patch I make beautiful artificial flower arrangements from dories, door swags, things for your home, things for your garden, uh, weddings and funeral tributes and much more. Right guys, I just wish to thank you very much for um, the uh, messages that you keep leaving on my page. Um, it's, it's very uh, touching and heartwarming of you. And I've uh, noticed a few more subscribers, uh, new subscribers popping up. I'm going to be writing a name down um, and I am going to, um, you know, be calling your names out perhaps more likely tomorrow and I know I said I was going to get the name for the um, wreath that we did and um, I haven't done that because we was on bank holiday and I didn't take that into consideration so I'm going to give it an extra day as well so while I'm doing the new subscribers I will draw the name out that we will call this wreath that we did um, last week and as I asked if anybody's got any names to give it a name so when I put it up for sale the customers can then if they view it online say oh I would like whatever you want to call it and I'm going to draw the names all the different names out of a bag I've had a few uh, private messages with names as well as uh, um, a couple on the uh, YouTube channel as well um, they're very good they're very good and I sat there thinking why didn't I think of things like that so I will be drawing that name out as well tomorrow and uh, so you've got to tomorrow guys if you can think of a name for this wreath maybe purple charm or purple I don't know <laughs> anything you know anything like that really just to give it a name a brand name so um, to put on my, uh, up for sale for my customers to purchase right today guys i'm going to sit down yesterday i completed the hanging baskets as well another two hanging baskets for the same customer with the love heart reef the wicker reef that we did so she's got four hanging baskets behind uh, the side here as well as the love heart so her order is now complete i will be treating them as i say i do treat them and then I will be spraying some essence um, oils on them as well to give them that nice summery floral smell. Right, today I've got a teacup. <laughs> you know what, I've just been in my store cupboard and I've seen two of these in there. But I forgot totally guys that I had these. I really did. So it's flower and garden. And I thought a giant teacup, a cup and saucer, should I say, and we're going to place that some nice, colourful or sunny vibe, summery vibe florals. So I haven't thought of a design, so today I'm going to play it by ear. I'm just going to go along and think, well, that looks nice there, so I'm going to place it there. So for, for you beginners, this is a, a good way to learn on how to also, uh, if you're not sure what to do, place things where you think. Um, you may see me pull them back out and think, no, it doesn't look right there. So this, is, this can help also for your placement and your spacing. I have... Um, wrapped it in wreath wrap i've got an ornament at the bottom of dried foam um, and i have stuck it to the bottom inside i've wrapped this top one up i haven't filled the sides in because i may want to go and bring some floral from out of here i've um, it's virtually the same height as what this is perhaps about half of a centimeter five mil um, away from the top something along those but that's okay and I have got two floral well stems off any florals like so uh, what I collect in a bucket as you've seen place them through the center 
to either there you can place as many as you want just to feel secure push it through to the foam that's at the bottom that is glued down so then this foam on the top will then hold on to the one below so let's go through what we've got guys right first of all i thought i may have some ruskus slightly hanging over the sides um not too much i mean i chopped away one of these yesterday so let me take that bit off so yes it's something like this that you chop off you don't need place through the center um your foam to do the bottom to hold them both together so i may chop bits off of this because it's not a very tall cup and saucer so just have the odd little one hanging so we've got that i have got out some watermelon uh, foliage leaves to uh, you know instead of the salal because we are going to do yellows and purples not many purples well and not many yellows i say that but you know me guys i may get up and go and get something else but yes we've got these as well that we're gonna use i've also got out my green grass what does have a few ferns on and these ferns on here are slightly like a limey yellow hence the reason i've got them out because they've got that hint of color with some also some pods seed pods on them as well so i have those aren't they pretty so we've got those also i have got my patchouli out I've, i have to order some more of this i keep saying it now I can't make my mind up whether I want to use the variegated or the lime green. I'm gonna see once we've got things in which one is setting off the arrangement, you know, the best. Um, and then I'll make my decision. I've got some lamb's ear out for softness. Um, you know, just to add lighter shade as well against per purple because the purple is quite dark um you know on this arrangement so we need to bring you know the purple alive by adding something in a lighter shade i've got one stem because i love this guys this is one of my favorite foliage of all times and ruscus um the silver dollar eucalyptus i love it um so i thought it's nice different shaped leaves from any pointy or smaller leaves and plus it's like a gray gray blue uh, in color so that will also set off against the purple now i wanted fern you know me guys i love my himalayan maiden hair fern but today I've got this one out. Um, I used these in some of the ladies' hanging baskets yesterday. Um, and it's rubber. It's rubbery texture. It feels lovely in your hands. That's not me being weird, but it just it just does. It really does. You sit there all day and you could just be massaging your own hands with it. It's just a lovely feel. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a freak. I'm not weirdo, guys. I just love rubbery textured things in floral. <laughs> um so I'm go and it's so realistic, guys. Look at that. The detail is so realistic. So we're going to add those. And because we've got a bit of yellow, I have got some little bit of ruscus and yellow tipped ruscus again i must get some more of these um uh, i've still got the <laughs> the tag on it and i'm chopping away at it but yes it only comes in small little stems like that um, but i thought we'd add this in and use it up because it's just sat there on by itself so that's the greenery that we're going to use now 
when I did real flowers guys again apart from the ranunculus that I adore and the Veronica this is another one and it is in this colour that I use the most oh excuse me I've got <clears throat> let me just take a swallow I had a tickle at the back of my throat then but I use this in a lot of bouquets I made because I loved it I went mad for it a strand here don't you just love it silver dollar uh, not silver dollar billion stars it's because I'm thinking of the eucalyptus the billion stars I guys adored it and I couldn't and this one is true to the real one and this is fantastic I adored it and I couldn't get enough when I made bouquets and I was placing them in it's the movement how they lean over because they have whoever whomever made this have got it off to perfect it's just perfect because that is how it sits in the real flowers um, and they droop over slightly like that they the detail is superb so we are going to use and this is like a white with a limey a little limey green veins in them and obviously the little where the pollen is in the center fabulous stuff and i've got uh, lemon roses again guys these are also beautiful so we are going to place in some lemon roses Look at that way a bit of line very subtle and it does the job even if you've got some of these guys and just place them as you do as I did in bouquets if I just I mean obviously I do it better than this but this is just a quick a quick thing to show you guys it is fantastic Let's get one down the centre and just lift it slightly up from the flowers. Fabulous great little don't that look pretty? I mean, obviously, I'd do it better than that. These are tied, the roses are tied together, so I can't take them out. But that adds some lovely texture. So, they're the thing. And guys, you've got to. You've just, it's that time of year, guys. I'm sorry. You may be thinking, oh, here she is again with the calla lilies. But it's that time of year. When it's that time of year for me, guys all the colored calla lilies come out and i have to start using them i can't get enough of these or the baby gerberas oops one of the things have come off let me glue that back on wherever that may be there so i don't want that to fall so we'll glue that back on use your glue gun or if you've got a glue pan But they're out again and today today oh I was looking at what my my uh, name may meant in the floral world it's a Greek name of a uh, it's like a rainbow well I don't know what to say iris I thought well why not you know there's gonna be a time where I'm gonna be using irises and with my name being Iris I even I've been saying to my husband many a times I may on every order that I get from a customer place in an iris just not charge obviously I wouldn't charge for them it's 
a statement piece from myself that to remember you ordered your flowers from me and my name is Iris. So I've got three that have flowered and are open and two that are just starting to open. So let's get Iris in. So Iris is going to be in something today. Now I have got a bow, well not a bow, some ribbons. I've got purple with a bit of goldy yellow around the edge in and then I have the yellow with the white floral in. I'm not saying I'm going to use one because I may end up covering this handle. If so, I will place it here. I may end up getting something bigger, I don't know. I was thinking perhaps with it being quite delicate, who knows, we'll see guys. I may not like the colour what I've chose but we'll take it from there. Like I say, it's an arrangement today that I haven't planned at all. So we're going to start with this. Let's get cracking. I'm going to cut some of these. Now these are also rubber and they are UV protected from the out so they are fine to go outside. With You don't need to spray these but even if they're rubber I spray them anyway. That's just my, you know, what I do. If I'm spraying the flowers and to protect them from the rain or the weather I spray the lot. It doesn't matter. So we're going to place that there, let that hang. I hope you can see, because I've tried to get the camera in a position where you'd, you'd probably be able to see. Now I'm going to cut this one. So. I just thought let's get one perhaps over here and it could be incorporated within the bow if I place one. If not then at least we've got something in. Like so. And I'm just tweaking them a little bit and just giving manipulating them slightly just because they are wired the main stem just letting that hang for loose right so we'll take that one off Oops, a bit easy. Yes, my name uh, means that obviously a uh, rainbow, uh, bright. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> bright, uh, cheerful, um, and colourful. So that's what my name means. Uh, I'm sure there'll be other sites that will give it a totally different meaning but I'm going to take that. <laughs> it, it wasn't a site that was telling you how you are as a person, it was telling you how you are, what your name is, if you've got a name that's a floral name or what sort. So I'm going to take that guys, I'm not going to argue against that. But then again I have always been told I'm very jolly. I don't think about myself like that. It's just me. It's just me. So I'm going to place this in the middle, I think, give it a bit of height so it's not everything dangling over the side. So give it something in the center, like so. And let that stick up. I may actually get another one. Get one more slightly longer and I'm going to bring that there. 
Well, I've had the... Joined a yoga class, guys. First night tonight. It's a lady who goes to the choir. She teaches it. I don't know, she, I was talking to her about it the other day. The, uh, the day of the concert. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go tonight. I'm going to give it a go. I've always liked the peacefulness of it. And also after her daughter, and you see, and I have to ask what this was. I've never heard of it. Reiki. Um, it's to do with the spiritual more positivity uh, in mind and soul. So, and that a daughter does that straight after. So I'm going to give it a go tonight. Why not? I like calmness. Oh, that's cold. I like positivity. I don't like negativity. Me. I really don't. I do understand there's negativity around the world, but or in the world, but I'd rather not be a part of it. That's, that's just me as a person. I try to stay clear. It's like I don't even watch the news hardly, guys, because it's always negativity. And it, I find it depressing. And then I'll get my neighbour saying, oh, did you see the news last night? No. I live every day as it is, as it comes. I don't need to be told what's going on or what the, you know, re, the Prime Minister of the UK chose to do because he doesn't, well, he doesn't help people. He thinks he does, but he doesn't. So they're all the same. So I don't like to listen. Because whatever they do, they don't benefit me or anybody, majority of the world. So I don't listen to it. Right, I'm placing in, let's forget about that. Placing in now some of the rubbery textured fern. And I've just put some in the centre, one just drooping over. Again, I'm going to get these. These stems are really, really thin. Uh, so I want to, I think, let's get one going there. Yeah. Again, you see, I don't know what I'm planning. I'm just sticking them in. <laughs> So to speak and again if this you know for you beginners if that's what you you've never done it before just do what I'm doing just you know it'll help you along just stick them in you might look at it now and think oh gosh that's a bit um a lot of greenery oh no it's not guys it's not guys you you can't have enough greenery as I say so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go mad and let's make this exceptionally tall. Oh, wouldn't that look nice on your garden, on a little, on a post or something, or, or you know, just something like a pedestal if you've got one, and just, or two posts, um, pillars at the side of steps. And just sit something like that on. Isn't that pretty? We'll just stick those out. Um, I do have my bent nose on pliers that if I can't bend it how I want. I get these out to give me a little bit of a helping hand just to have that coming over. I'll bring that one up there. It's 
So again, just place them in wherever. If you think that that looks pretty there or, you know, it blends in well with the one what's around it, you know, then keep it there because, you know, uh, Overall, you're going to place in all other things as well. So, you you know, don't doubt yourself, guys. Uh, you know, it will. I always say, because I've had people say, oh, I put foliage in and it just doesn't look right. And I always say, wait till you start adding your, your you know, your floral. That will add the extra little bit of, you know, that you're looking for. And it will show. And then it will come good. It will all come good. All the it's like adding just the little little bits at the end, what makes something. Let's have a look. Now I'm going to have one in the centre for a little bit of height. And we're going to stick that like that. Just place it right in the centre. And again, I don't want it too high. So that's uh, I'll keep that on the floor. I should have brought my bucket out. Let me just have a look, guys, that you can see. I get got complex now oh that's okay I think right um, let me just see and if I'm placing these grasses in I don't want too many because they are very wispy so I may place just three one, two, three. Oh, that one hasn't got any. Oh, that's all right. A variety. So I'll place one. And then back. If you can hear a barking, that's Maisie. She doesn't like trucks. Trucks or trucks with you know the skips on with the chains making the noise she doesn't like that she absolutely hates it but we've been for a walk this morning we went for a long walk this morning me and my neighbor had a right good laugh So I've only put three in of these guys because they are quite, you can spread them. You don't have to have them all, you know, just give them a bit of a manipulation. Um, so they're just all spread out and they're not as one cluster. That one hasn't got any fern in, but that's okay. I think I may use these as at the, around the edge at the moment. So what I'm going to do with the watermelon, there's a proper name for these guys and I just can't remember what it is. They're very similar to the Salal and the Calias. I just can't remember what they are. But what I'm going to do with these is just place some lower down at the bottom. Um, so we've got them you know, covering that hole. You could push them in as far as you wish. I'm going to have it just so it's sitting and leaning slightly over. Like that. And I placed some of these on the pit because they did have, they were longer. Um, and it's like with the Salal, I've done exactly the same with the Salal, with these. So you can twist them around so it, they form that and they cover more 
you know areas so so this is more like a garden you know a garden plant now that is hanging off That's hanging off, it's snapped off because there's no wire in these guys. I'll cut it off. I don't want to take that chance. Yeah, so this is more like an uh, outdoor garden arrangement. What oh, can go? What if you wish to have it indoors, uh, you know, as a plant inside your house? That's also a good idea. Again, I'm just going around the bottom area, just not everywhere, you know, making a circle. I'm just leaving a few gaps as well for other things to be placed in. one here so that's just like covering around the you know the perimeter around the bottom area I've got one left let's just Put that and then I'm just going to place it in the centre instead of placing it back you know just that one stem by itself back on the shelf place it in the centre right I'm going to hang on with these guys because I still you know can't make my mind up let's have a look at a I may hang on with those as well. I will place some things, you know, the odd ones in. Let's get the floral in. I don't want, I don't think no more. Let's start with our roses. These are beautiful. The, I don't know how to explain it, but the the petals, they're like a crinkly, tech, you know, look. Uh, what you'd get on a rose in, if it was in your garden. Uh, the, the lovely and realistic. How oh, I love anything like this. What joy. Right, I'm gonna place one. right in the middle so now this is where I do my placing again I don't want to make this big I may not use all of them let's just start with these right so for your placing like I've done that in the center think of this container as a square for now so you, if you're working in your odd numbers then think of it how it would look on a die or a dice I don't know how some people pronounce it but on a dice that you roll when you're playing your board games you always have a, a, a dot in the middle 
and then you have the rest around it. So, one, two, three, four. Do it like that, or you could go one, two, three, four. So, I'm going to go here today because I've got a lot here hanging here. So I've got space here, so I'm going to bring it here. But I'm coming slightly further down than the one at the top. Because the top is the highest point. If you brought that in line with the top, you're going to get a box arrangement. You need it to come down in, you know, in height. So then you get your other one on the other side and you do exactly the same. Again, think of it as it's a box or a square. What should I say? Bring that down and just give it the eye view like so. And if you're not sure, turn it to the side. That one one's coming up slightly. There we have it. As you can see from the side, they are virtually at the same height. Now you do that here and here with the two more. And I'm showing you as a, you know, for the beginners more than the advanced. And you do the same. Taking in that height, that should be around the same height as well. And do the same over this side. Bringing it around. Look from the side at the similar height. And then turn it just to see that they're all around the same height. Yeah, there we have it. So there's your five little um, roses, I nearly forgot what they were called. And again, if you think of it as a square, on a, you know, the dots on a dice, there's your, for you, the number five, there's your one in the centre and the four are around it like a square. But we're in a round container. So then you place the container the correct way and it looks like that. Like you've just moved the square to one side. And that's just how to place, you know, those flowers around the central point. So I'm not going to use these, because, well I don't think so, I'm not going to use the big one, I may use the boards, I'm not sure yet. So, now our Astrantia, I've placed that in after i put in our irises. Now you can do the same along with the irises. But you're filling in now where the gaps are. You can bring these down or at the same height as your roses. So if I, I more than likely would bring them slightly further down so I am creating, because if you can see here, as I say work in the triangular position, there's your point of the triangle and there's your flat pieces. So now if you disregard the centre one, there's your flat pieces of the triangle, there's your point. So then you have that as your triangle. And then that will give you your spacing perfect. So I would bring that down to form the triangle there, the upside down triangle, as I say to people. Because people sometimes get confused when I say the triangle. They're, they're trying to use this one, what they haven't placed in yet, as the point. But then they think, well, the rose is in the way. No, upside down triangle 
it's an easier way of saying it and then you could place them there so I could place one there and then I could place a board I just what's not oh somebody's here guys I delivered one moment about that guys yes it was a delivery and it was a delivery of what was I saying I needed the other day guys purple yellow and white roses so I've got them so my buckets are starting to look a bit fuller now over that side and now over this side I can see that they started to shrink so I need to top up with everything well, I say everything, bits and bobs, red roses, this is, these are all on small stems, red roses, orange, white, yellow, uh, morning glory, um, some more calla lilies, um, I've stocked up on the carnations, <laughs> um, a stilby, and that's about it really on that side. Um, and that's uh, still a few more things. Anyway, let's carry on. So where was I? So yes, as I was saying, I'm going to do one open, one closed um, iris. And again, one open. And then one closed. So I've got two of each there i could stick that in there but i don't want to because the yellow rose is my focal point so i will place in some of those irises at the bottom or to make that um that triangular shape here i will show you like so i wasn't i'm not placing them flat how you see them in here you know i do want them up a little bit to give them that movement and that volume just to uplift you know lift them up and do the same on the others so they do they do stand upwards and again, by looking at the sides, I can see if I just place that one in a little bit more, that they are relatively, by eye view, sim very same or similar height. So I'll do the same with these. Now these are on rubber. Um, these these ones the closed ones have got rubber stems so what i do with the rubber stems i chop around the rubber not the wire inside you can feel where the wire is by just touching them with your cutters once you've gone round pull and you've got your wire so because this rubber for you beginners does melt with hot can or majority of the time can melt once it's got something like your hot glue touching it and then when you push it in it will just do that because it is melting so then that looks messy on the top that's just me guys being very fussy but liking you know to do the job correctly i have to think then where i've got it placed so we'll place this one also just want to view it like so and I do the same with this one Just trim around the 
as far up as you wish to go you know to cut your rubber i know i don't want wanted you know too much of it cutting off so you just go opposite or look at your two roses here So then you can see your triangle, flat part of your triangle, point. And then if you disregard that, flat part of your triangle, your point. So on this case, we are using these two as the flat part of your triangle, and then there's your pointed part. And then that is then placed and balanced correctly. So, With our uh, Astrantia, I'm going to place in the centre of each of these roses. Just get four. So where our roses are here, we are going to place one and it's going to be at the similar height to what these are. I don't mind the odd little one, you know, above that rose, that's okay. But I don't want them, so to speak, like that. And then just line it up with the iris. So it all forms down in like a ladder shape, going down in height. And do the same with that one. In the center of the two roses, put in line with your iris. My mum must have known I was going to be a florist. That's probably why she called me Iris. Again, I'm lining it up with the two yellow roses. Just checking that they're all okay and they're lined up. And then you have that from above. Doesn't that look pretty? And you can still then see your lovely little sign there. Now I have three of these left. I could bring and use some down there, but I'll hang on to those. Right, let's try. Now I want some of these in the centre. So I've pushed these up before we started. So what I'm going to do with these ones just go in between these two roses and the Estrantia with these. Now these can stick up because these are our wispy bits. So what I'm basically doing with these is going in between the irises but up above. So you've got your irises flat part and these, because they're purple, pointed. So like so. But if you look, where's my hand off? There's your two Astrantias, and there is your Calla Lily in between those two. And that is what I'm going to do up above. So I'm bringing this purple above because the irises are at the bottom, which are deep in purple also. 
So I'm bringing some deep purple above as well to balance that look out. that one on there. If you want them to go slightly further down, just push. I think I may Just do that one as well. So that is there. We've got still lots of gaps to fill. Hence the reason I've got the patchouli and our lamb's ear. Now again, I've got two. I could easily bring one here, but one there. But again, I'd want four. So how many? One, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to use this and bring this a little bit at the bottom and I'm going to go round. I've got five pieces. I'm just going to take it away, bring some yellow in between the purple irises as well. I'm just lifting up. Just cut it, take the old glue off and again I always take the old glue off because otherwise you're going to have glue sticking upon glue and it, it's going to get just a bit too clumpy, that's, that's my word clumpy and it can make it a bit more difficult to actually place it in when you're placing it back in because of all the glue that is on it. Place these two together because they've only got one on. So then I've placed in the yellow ruscus in between our irises around the bottom to bring the yellow. So it's yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. And that is balancing the colour out instead of having too much purple or yellow up here and not enough here. So I balance it out by just basically just doing like a just stated yellow purple which is your calla lilies yellow your roses again purple your irises and yellow on your ruscus so it's gone up in color
Right, now let's have a look at this patchouli. Now that looks pretty. Oh. Now then. <laughs> Guys, I like them both. But there's a lot of green, so do I incorporate that? If I show you. Now, this is what we're, when I say for beginners, especially, or advanced, you know, we, we do advance people, you know, who've been doing it years, may sometimes get it wrong or sit there and debate which is the best that is the limey green now that is the variegated which one guys <laughs> see i can't they both do look nice so then the only way i'm going to make my mind up get a lamb's ear because that's what i want to incorporate as well and place it against the lamb's ear. So I'm gonna turn it around and let's see. Right, now they've, I can tell, the variegated is drowning because it's light in color. So if you can see, I don't know whether, if I do it that way, that one's turning around on itself. Now, if you can check. Now, this is where I tend to then, I make the decision. Now, that one against the lamb's ear. Now, the patchouli is, like I say, is drowning because they're both light in colour. or that one against the lamb's ear so there's your decision made for you basically always if you've got something light in colour have something slightly darker to bounce off of it so now because i'm placing these basically ne next to each other or above and below each other that is what's going to happen that's going to drown that's going to lift it so these no so my decision has been made so it's going to be the lime so i hope that helps and that gives you a tip as well guys on how to choose which foliage for which you know thing that you you are doing if you've got you're using the light have something slightly darker to bounce from it because we are going to be using the lamb's ear. So, I want to place in the lamb's ear first because the lamb's ear is going at the bottom with it being like so. I'm not going to put a full sum, I may put a full sum of these above. And again, that's where I may use the white, uh, the variegated patchouli. So let's cut this. So where we've gone with our lamb's ear, I want something to bounce off of it. So I go for a darker shade. like so doesn't that look pretty so i hope that helps guys so we'll do it again let's just get some out may use a lamb's ear above as well we'll 
soon find out what it's like above because it's quite floppy see now that's drowning against the very pale uh, roses with it being placed in with it so where did we go right so i'm going to place another one here I'm pushing these quite far in and then I'm placing a patchouli just above the lamb's ear. So as you can see now that's filling that space up. do the same I'm going near where the irises are on either side of the irises because I am filling in the bottom area okay so it looks like the irises have got beautiful you know the either side which is going to set that deep purple off so that's the reason that I chose just lost a, a leaf. Oh, it's gone in my bin somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't find it. And do the same with the patchouli above the lamb's ear as well, because this is going to act like filler also by filling it in those dark spaces and plus with the patchouli it's bouncing off of the la uh, the lemon roses as well so then we come to the other iris we do the same around all the way around goodness um I nearly forgot what I was doing then. Lamb's ear. I can feel the, the glue strings just dangling from my hand. So I'm going to go the other side of this iris as well. And then I'm going to place another patchouli in. So it's all beginning to look full around the bottom. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three.
but this makes it look really really pretty the lambs here it really does give off that lovely lovely effect against the deep purples my goodness i've got it attached to me from the glue pan to my wrist to my hand <laughs> so I'll place one here as well and then the patchouli just above it so now all the way around around the bottom that is full of soft lamb's ear with a nice green patchouli because the lamb's ear has uh, allowed the patchouli to bounce off of the colour and the textures are different and then underneath you have the dark green uh, watermelon effect I think that's what you call it or with the like a creamy yellow veiny leaf underneath that so that bounces above and below the lamb's ear so those are too much I think in there yeah you can't see those let me just attach those let's see what else I could place in right so that is the bottom area so now what we need to do is just fill in these gaps above i don't want to i use the lambs ear as i say because by if i just place one in i will be taking it out so Placing one in against where my hand off against the lemon, it's very light and it's not going to be noticed. So, and we want something with a thicker leaf or a long, different sh shaped leaf. So. And again this is like for the garden but again if you wish you could place this indoors also so let me just have a look what we've got that's slightly thicker or something what's gonna you know hide that space um, I mean you could even place in some more flowers around the top but I don't want to I don't want to get overload it oh let me just try these guys oh no you won't see the euphorbia either that's hidden I need something slightly darker um, I think gonna have to be it may have to be the ficus guys i've got some longer ornaments here the darker shade let's just place one of those oh no no it doesn't sit right I can't place something in when I, when I know it doesn't sit right. Um, oh. Well, I 
wish they wouldn't do this. I can't see. See where it's opening. Yeah. Right, I need something a bit long. Oh, I can smell the newness on these uh, conifers, guys. Right, I'm just taking four for now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place around where the rose is in the center. So, I'm gonna bring that, let's see if I could push that a little bit further down, yeah. And give it another different texture. So that's a one. to go down a little bit more there we go we don't need them too far up caught on something. And push that one in as well. And just flawless. Just I'm going to take that as bugging me in the centre, so I'm going to cut that bit off. And then just fluff up on however you want it to sit. Just making sure that everything's sitting how it should be, how I placed it in. And it's given things space. Right, now my professional eye, something is missing here. How we've got the purple calla lilies, that's fine. But the iris of quite the big here, the roses, well I say big, but on this arrangement, the big, you know, against these calla lilies. So we've got the big, big irises and the roses, and then we go nothing, it's very small. So I need something just slightly, even if it's just three in a triangular position at the top, purple with a bigger head. So I'm going to get rose, a rose, purple roses. Oh my gosh, guys, I've got loads now. Which one do I choose? Do I choose those? Now we're using dark purple. 
how dark. Oh, that's a bit, is that a bit too dark? Let me just test the colour I've got. Look at the colour, look at all those guys. Let me test the shade against the irises and the calla lilies. Uh, it's them. It's these guys. It's the others. Are just too light. They're not as dark. And I, with us having dark in the calla lilies, I need dark roses. Now, these have all got a bit of jip on them, so I'm going to just take three and you'll see the difference by placing these three up above. So, I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to do it in the triangular position around the centre rows. Take that plastic off. Oh, I despise that plastic at the end. Right, one. Two. And I don't want them higher than the central rows. You'll see what I mean, guys, by just adding that purple around the top. Doesn't that look better? You've got the purple, what's at the top now, and now it's balanced. So it's yellow, purple. Now, you can, these roses are on the same level as the calla lilies. So yellow, purple, yellow purple so we're all in sync and everything and then the yellow little ruscus at the bottom so that is your lovely floral what could sit out on your garden on your little table as you're having an afternoon tea with cake oh what a glorious idea now, I could place a bow. I've been looking at this. I've left a bit of space, as you all know, for the bow. There's the handle. If I don't want the bow, then I will just manipulate these stems over the handle. So we're going to do one, but we're going to have a look what it looks like. If it doesn't look bright, guys... We're not putting it on. Sorry. So, in the break, when we got stopped, I also got out this purple because that's a better choice than that. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Well, I think I am. <laughs> I'm not now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I am. I'm not. I am. It's a better purple. That's more the purple of what we're using than that. That's more of what I've picked out of the other roses. So that I'm disregarding. So that's the choice of ribbon I have. I have a thicker one in this and I don't want to use that. I want to use a 38 mil. This is the Deco Web. 
I love this. I love the deco web ribbon. It can be a pain, but I, you know, it catches on to any type of clothing, but I do love it. So, let's see. Oh, let me get me. Oh, I didn't know that was not. So we'll just place the flower arranger out of the way. So I'm going to have the deco web on the back because this is only 1.5. So let's see. Yeah, about six inch the tail end that I'm doing for it. So do I do four? Oh, it may have to be five, guys. Let's have a look. Just so you can see it. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be five. So I'm doing I'm doing this by hand today. Um, so I'm going to do five inch bows. And so on your mat, measure up to ten inch. Um, so then go under. So you end up with a five inch loop. Gather it in between your thumb and finger like so and there's your five inch loop twist measure again to 10 inch on your mat go under to the center where your thumb and finger is gather underneath how many should i do hmm. it may have to be three and then do it again, 10 inch, gather in between your thumb and finger. And if you want to measure if your loops are the same size, just do that. And if they meet at the top, then you know it's all correct. So then I'm gonna bring this down like so. I don't want that one now. Do the same with this one. Let's measure. I will cut them at the end and, sh you know, in fact, do it like that. Go under 10 inch. Go under meet in between and again measure with the one here and if it meets then it's the same size loop twist go to the 10 go under again twist again i'm just doing five inch loop and i'm doing three of each And I will sort the tail ends out at the end. Right, 10 inch. Twist. So then I get my cable tie and I go around, I pull it in, before I pull it really tight I will attach another one through so I can place this on the handle of the cup 
if I choose to have it. So, it's got caught in the loop. So and now I'm just going to straighten up my tail ends first. I always like to do my tail ends first. It's just something I've always done. So I've got three loops. Let me just check. So I'm going to do that. So I want to just say right, let's cut these and when I'm doing a dovetailing I fold it in half like so and do that and cut to the corner of the outer edge The deco web I just do at an angle Let's have a look anymore anymore one two. So I think I'm happy with that. So pull tight. Where's my just snip that off? And I just want to show you before I make up my mind. Because this will sink in because of the depth of the handle and you can then incorporate yeah, some of the foliage within or place the loops within the foliage to make it look like it's all together as one. Debating whether to use it, guys. So it'd be something like that. I may have done it too big if I'm being quite honest. So I may have to pull it in and have it like so, so it doesn't look out of sync. But you won't see it then. No, I'm not placing it in. So I'm going to keep the design just with the floral I think because then that'll look more like a garden effect then you know having it and spoiling it yeah so I've chose not to So that is our little, little garden planter to go on your garden, just using purples and uh, very pale, subtle uh, yellows 
and with the lambs here and your grasses, your ruscus, your irises, <laughs> your uh, eucalyptus, your ferns and your watermelon um, foliage and your conifer and your uh, astrantia and your purple roses and calla lilies and your patchouli as well. So I hope that that again didn't plan how this was going to turn out this just turned out as it did um, you know I didn't have any ideas or anything I just thought let's go with it and see what we can produce and especially for like the beginners who you know instead of confusing you and giving you something big and you're like wow um, you know just something simple and show you how to do something without any thought you know behind it and think well i'll just put that in and let's see what happens this is what you can produce guys and uh, so i hope you enjoyed that small video sorry about the interruption again um because i had a delivery uh, with the purple roses some of them <laughs> so again i hope you like that give it a go if you've got a little pot it doesn't have to be a teacup like this or a cup of saucer just a little uh, plant pot you know itself and use some nice pretty colors and uh, just something to place out on your garden on you know on your on a wall on your garden um, you could have it a rectangle planter or you know pot um, or square container it doesn't have to be circular and you know just to put a bit of color on your garden some people are here in the uk don't have gardens um well they have a garden but there's no grass on it it's just concrete you know or when they live in terraced houses um and the garden's probably about 10 foot by six foot so there's nothing there so they can't really plant anything so things like this you know they can place in and um, you know just something artificial to add a little bit of colour and brightness to the tiny gardens or if you've got a balcony and you live in a high rise um, and you you know uh, something like this just to sit up there you know and have a bit of colour as well so I hope you enjoyed that guys please subscribe share and like and you know pass pass my business name on to the world to everybody who you know I'll be much appreciated it just gets me recognized out there guys and uh, you know so I can show you all what wonderful work I like to show you wonderful people and inspire you to create something fantastic for yourselves so have a wonderful day I'm gonna be going out just in the garden now I've finished up uh, my order for today and just pottering about having a nice hot drink or something i don't know piece of cake and um, i might place this on the garden mm, it's not a bad idea actually so yeah i think i will might take a photo of it on my garden as well so again guys have a great day and um, i love you all god bless good health and um, stay safe and have a fabulous time creating. All the best. Bye bye. We'll do a little close up for you guys. There you go. Oh I've got my cable trapped. Look at the, the rows. You see what I mean how it looks like it's outside outdoors. How the how the petals are look, fabulously realistic, and then the astrantia look, that is so so realistic, and the beautiful deep purple roses, um, our cypress leaves, our calla lilies, our irises. Oh, one closed, one open. And then our little ruscus with the yellow tip, our lambs here. Um, our patchouli just there 
Um, if I could turn it around. Oh, our silver dollar, our grasses with the fern. Oh, and our fern as well here. Um, I can't think of anything else, guys. You've probably seen it. I'm probably. Oh, and our little. See what I mean? Nice, veiny, lovely, lovely texture as well. So, again, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, give it a go, guys, because I know you're all very creative. And let's see from above. And that's what you get from above, the triangular position above as well in the deep purple. So, I hope you have a wonderful time watching. And please join me again tomorrow. And I'm going to enjoy my first yoga class today and see what it's like. See if I can stretch my body into positions I've never known. And I may not even be, I might be walking on tomorrow with a stick. <laughs> all right then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye for now. Love you all. Bye.